Hey folks, welcome back. So I um I created I pulled out a, a game that I had done a playthrough of before and I was just in the mood to play it. I've been uh hosting board games this weekend and this was one that came out and I had a good time. So I do really like this game. This is one of my, my favorites. And uh the game in question is called Crisis. And let me uh, get the box for you here so you can see what I'm talking about. It is this game right here, Crisis. Um, absolutely love this game. It is so fun to play. Um, it's definitely a cutthroat game, so there are certain people who aren't going to like it. In fact, i got to be in the right mood for it. I, I'm not a big fan of cutthroat. I really prefer co-op games, but this one really just sits right with me. And uh, there's always very difficult choices with this one. But um, I'm going to play the Solitaire. The last playthrough that I did was medium difficulty, largely because it had been a while since I played this game. And the rules were really, uh, you know, I'm struggling a little bit. I got this one down pretty much now. And so I really want to take a crack at the highest difficulty rules. And the highest difficulty rules, you can see, are indicated by the far right uh, little computer looking icon there. Uh, it's right behind my meeple. You can see it's a one player and then there's an abacus, a calculator, and then a computer. The uh, computer on the far right is the hardest difficulty and I can already tell you it is extremely hard uh, because you start the game at 15 victory points and you need to get to 24 at the end of the first round. That is a huge amount of points. Uh, I just don't see myself pulling that off uh, anytime soon. Um, so I'm definitely going to be taking a deficit in these early rounds. And I can tell you that anytime I've taken a crack at this AI, um, what happens is, is I, uh, I simply just don't score enough points fast enough. Like I can score points and I could potentially win, but I don't score them fast enough. Um, and uh, just a quick refresher, I'm, I'm going to be putting this video in with the Crisis series so people who are you know, watching through that, uh, they're going to know the rules because I had just, I finished a playthrough however many months ago. So the time between when I finished my last crisis playthrough and now has been, uh, oh my gosh, at least four or five, maybe even six months. Um, so for me, I feel like I got to rehash the rules, but if you're watching through the series fresh, um, maybe you'll be wondering why I'm doing this, but basically, um, this is the economy here and it's at 31. And if it ever drops to zero, the game ends and I lose. So that's one of the conditions for losing this game. And so uh, uh, we have to score points, and we have to score them fast. And how many points do I need to score? Well, you can see here that little square says 24. Why does it say 24? Because we're in round one, and the goal is 24. If you get out the medium difficulty uh, game, the goal will be reduced. And you can see... Um, that it varies. So in a three-player game, medium difficulty, you only need to get to 19. Now, you might be wondering, why is that so much lower? Well, in a three-player game, they're going to be using the same actions uh, and fighting with each other over the resources. And here you can see in a five-player game, easy, it's 17, uh, and so forth. And there's a medium player game, a five-player medium, it's still 17. And uh, there we go, five-player hard it only moves up to 18. So it's not like it's that big of a bump. But um, anyways, I just wanted you to understand that depending on the number of players, it, it has different sets of goals. And then the solitaire, this is the one we did in our last playthrough. My goal was 22, now it's 24. You might be thinking, oh heck, two points is not that big a deal. It, it is, and um, uh, anyways, let's, let's just play. So um, like I said, uh, rehash, we got it that. We have, you know, this. Uh, I, I only get four workers. My fifth worker is standing there. I know it's white and it's sort of hard to see, but there it is, uh, my fifth worker. I can only unlock my fifth worker when I get two shadows from the building. You'll know what the shadow is when I show you. And uh, I do have to finish the setup here. I do have the uh, foreign workers out. And then I set this up. So we need to grab uh, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. And actually we have to grab 12. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, so we have to set up the market here. So this is the last four that I 
grabbed. So these are future markets. And then the current market is this with, and I know some of you OCD people don't like it when things are upside down, so give me a second, I'll fix them. All right, so that's our setup uh, so far um, with the market and um, I'm going to start with 22 bucks. So I'm just going to use um, uh, the game uh, gives you markers. You can use this. Um, I'm going to use chips. So here's my $22. I'm going to put that over there. Okay. I made room for the camera so we can see most things without me having to um, worry too much. Uh, okay. Then the next thing we got to do is get our, um, our industry out. And so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm grabbing six industry. Let me put the camera up so you can see. So first industry is the uh, Gucci farm. That's an interesting first one. And then a, another farm and another. That's a mine, another mine. farm and a heavy industry okay and this one produces um the pharma which is actually something nice so these are the shadows i was talking about i need to get three of those in order to unlock my extra worker and this is the only building that even has a shadow on it which is super interesting um so my dilemma here is I have to have a strategy. If I don't have a strategy, I'm gonna lose this thing miserably. And um, I did go on Board Game Geek to talk about this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have a wrench, a shovel. This is the spy, which is useless in a solitaire game, so I'm gonna set it aside. We can't use the spy. By the way, this has all the new economy of po components except for the actual industry. I want to play this game with the new economy industries, but I just haven't done that yet. So all those are out. And by the way, the new economy industries are real easy to notice because they have the little symbol there. Um, so uh, when you get a spy in a solitaire game, just toss it. In a multiplayer game, the spy um, uh, lets you uh, grab a resource from somebody else's production. Okay, so, and then this is a... Uh, Oh, that's an interesting one. I think that's a game designer. Um, it's interesting. Why is he also a wrench? Oh, oh, oh. This guy, when you hire him, you get this guy along with it for free uh, for one round. That's what that guy does. Okay. So there's been a couple of things talked about here. The first one is, uh, in order to score points, you need to have... Um, so there's this chart here, which you can just look at there, or they give you, they do give you some player aids here. Let me see if I can find it. See right here, they give you a player aid, so you can see real close. Um, this is the cost you would spend in order to get that resource. This is the this is what you get for selling the resource. And then this is black market where you don't get points. These are points and that's money. In the black market, you only get money, okay? Um, the black market, you're restricted to selling only four of a unit and that's it. So uh, here's what I wanna show you. I wanna show you, um, you know, the bread is one and two, the minerals are one and two. They're basically the same. This could be ore, I don't know what it is. Um, but they're both one and two. Um, so you're going to get two bucks and one victory point for each one you sell. And then here you're getting two and three. So you're getting double the points and a little bit more in money. Um, and then these ones you typically don't run into in, in the era one, which is where we're at. These are more late, later game uh, commodities. Um, so with that in mind, um, we have, let's start at the bottom here. We got this one. You need a lot of inputs. You need a wrench, and then a wrench and a hammer will boost it. 
it only produces two. So let's say I only make two. I'm getting four points and six bucks for it, which is not a, a huge um, amount. However, you can see here I got a three wrench, and if I put the three wrench there, uh, that becomes five now. That makes this into a five. And then I got another three wrench, which is, this is an amazing draw, these two. And then this guy here is a wrench as well. Uh, the problem is, is that's three of my workers, three of my, uh, my worker placement actions. This would be the fourth, and then that would be it for my turn. So I would have purchased none of the resources I needed to run this. I would not have run it at all. All I did was grab workers and grab this, and I basically score no points. So I would be losing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd be losing nine points um, right from the start. Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult thing. Now you might say, okay, well, Jeff, just let one of these go, right? The wrenches are so nice though. These plus three ones, you usually don't wanna let it go. Um, so that's where my dilemma is. And now I could obviously just let this guy go, right? Cause he's not that important. I can let him go and, um, and then use these two actions to draw that, a third action for that, and then a fourth action. See, I still wouldn't be able to sell. I would need to get these input components, and, uh, and as you can see, I'm not gonna be able to do it. So the next thing I can do is, uh, along the same vein, is up here in the farm. Uh, it's the same deal, I would need a shovel now though, and there's only one shovel available to us, so it's not quite as attractive. Now, why am I talking about those two first? Well, one of the things the designer and some of the people I talked with uh, pointed out is if you look here on the input marker market, um, there's here for, you have to spend five victory points, mind you, and nine money, but you get two electricity and two minerals, which is exactly the input that you need to uh, make the pharmaceuticals, right? So I would make two pharmaceuticals, but it would cost me uh, five points and nine bucks. And that's enough to run my pharmaceutical, my heavy industry twice. So if I, if I was willing to spend five points and nine bucks, I can run this thing twice. So if I run this twice, I wanna make sure I have the best inputs possible, right? This thing needs to be maxed out. And the other nice thing is you can see pharmaceuticals after the first round, it's gonna shift over, so I'm not gonna lose my contracts. I can only sell three here and I can sell four there. So I only need to make three the first time to be able to sell, and I can always sell to the black market to get some money with the extra I have. The other thing that you can see is there is the six of these. So if I go after that farm, there's an equivalent one for the farm there where you're spending six points 13 bucks, you get two lightning bolts to, to uh, farm, pharmacy. Same deal, I could run the farm twice. I don't need to grab those, those wrench guys because wrench guys aren't even used for that. I would need a shovel and a hammer. And there's the shovel and I don't even need the hammer. It produces six right out of the go. So even without the hammer, I can make six. So that one is possible. I can spend one here, one worker here, one on the farm, one to get the input resources. I run the farm, I make six bread, and I would sell six bread right there. So I'm gonna lose six points to do that, right? I have to spend six points and 13 bucks. I also have to spend five bucks for the farm. I have 22, so I have enough money to do that. And let's say I sell the six bread. So I sell the six bread, and I'm going to get um, 12 bucks, and six points. So I'm gonna get the points back that I spent, and that's it. So I'm not gonna gain a thing, uh, and I'm gonna lose nine points, just like I would in the other scenario. Um, but I do get some of the money back. I am a little bit better off with the money. And if I ever get like better workers, I can get more bread. And then here in the second round, you can see I could potentially sell up to 12 bread, right? Or I can only carry 12 bread. I can't carry more than that. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to sell more than 12. But the point is, I can sell it, I can get some good bling, but I'm not gaining ground on the marker. And um, that's the, the, the hard part about this, right? 
So if that's the case, I need to keep going. So this bread needs to be used for something like a resort. <clears throat> this is uh, the expansion, but just to show you, there's, there's a lot of buildings that take food and then turn it into something. So this takes food and turns it into points. I don't think this game has this kind of building, but it's a similar concept. And so the whole point of having the food industry is it's a precursor to something else. Now the pharmacy industry is interesting. Uh, it is not often a precursor to something else, but it sometimes is for these uh, heavy gears, the black down here. Um, but you gotta, um, I've also seen this be, yeah, and it's also a precursor to that farm up there, right? There's that farm up there, there's this down here. I mean, my goodness, I couldn't, I don't think I can even afford, so this would be 15, that would be 20. I wouldn't even have enough money to buy uh, the, the ability to run these. Like, if I can get this thing to run, produce this, and then I also had that farm up there, then I'm, I'm doing quite well because the output of this is, is good to use as the input of the other. Um, so that's my dilemma. So then what else do I got? Well, I have a, a farm that doesn't require all those expensive inputs, but it still requires electricity, and it only produces half. So again, I would need to get electricity. I can do that for a lot cheaper. Um, in fact, I can, as long as I'm willing to spend a worker, I can get one of those um, for one buck. So I can spend one buck to get one. But it costs me a worker uh, for my worker placement. I only have four. Uh, it's going to cost me one every time. Okay, and then you got these mines up here. Same deal. It requires electricity, requires electricity. This one produces two. This one produces one. Um, uh, the only difference is, is like what kind of workers they use. And then you have the farm up there. So everything here requires input. I have a very awful draw. Um, there's a lot of level one buildings that don't require all these inputs. And, and, the, and the trick is, is with four workers on its first turn, you need to spend some workers to get some, some of these employees, right? Um, so I'm leaning towards, I'm gonna get this for 15. So one of my, my, one of my workers is to get this for 15, largely because I want the shadow. Um, so I'm gonna spend $15, and that leaves me with seven bucks left. Okay, and then I'm not going to get the inputs for this yet. I'm going to do that next turn. And then I'm going to spend three workers to go one, two. And unfortunately, when I get this, I get this guy too, but there's nothing to run him on. Um, but I'm going to, I want to get uh, three workers. Now, this you might be wondering, why am I not taking this when that's one needed here? It's a good point, but this plus three is so valuable. Now the other option is instead of getting this, because the pharmaceutical, um, I'm gonna have to shuffle, but let me show you, like the level two buildings that are coming in the game, like let's look, right there's one, there's another farm that's coming, but it only produces three, right? It's not super huge, but like where are the pharmaceuticals used? Here's another farm, okay, that uses them. So I'm basically committing to farms if I produce pharmaceuticals. There's another pharmaceutical company, similar to the one we were thinking of getting. And then yet there's another farm. This farm is pretty much just as good as the other one that we had a chance to get. It could just cost twice as much. So you can see pharmaceuticals doesn't get you much. And then, uh, hang on, let me shuffle. And then at level three, okay, so, well, maybe Jeff level three buildings can get you something. And then at level three, um, I'm just looking for pharmaceuticals. There's one. It takes two pharmaceuticals, two electricity. Yeah, that's pretty good. But that's at level three. There's another one that's pretty good, also level three. And then another level three farm. So you could do it. But then what you're relying on then are these contracts. You know, you gotta have the purple contracts. Um, I don't know, it just seems like a painful path. But the good news with pharmacy though, is you get more points than you do with bread or minerals. Now I can tell you for a fact that minerals can do well. Um, so then a part of me is like, well maybe I should get a mineral plant instead. 
Um, mineral plants don't need as much. They just need electricity. And so what I'm thinking then is let's do that. Although there's a part of me that really likes the idea of trying the pharmaceutical path. I've never done it before. That's why I just wanted to try it. Um, or, yeah, because the mineral path is not as lucrative. You know what, let's just stick to this. We're, we're gonna try it. So uh, I'm gonna do that. Now one thing I could do is not get this, uh, not get this guy. Like he's not as important. And so then I could, you know, even get the input resources and run this thing, this round. I just wouldn't be able to sell anything on the contract. So let's see if I can pull that off. So if I went, uh, I only have seven bucks left. And that's my next problem is I can go here to get one pharmacy, but I won't have any electricity. Or I can go there to get two electricity, two pharmacy, but it costs 13 bucks and I only have seven. So that's the drawback of taking heavy industry. So uh, maybe, you know, now what would I do next turn? Well, I would take a loan for one worker. I'd probably hire another work employee and then I would have to uh, get the input resources and then I would have to um, run the contracts. So that's, that's a lot. The other thing I can do is move this guy here and get electricity, right? It only cost me a buck, like I said, and I still wouldn't be able to sell anything this round, but I could possibly run something that only needs electricity. And um, there's a part of me that thinks that that's the better way to go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna move this up to here, and we're gonna take this one that produces two. And it costs the same amount. It's a $15 uh, building. And uh, I'm going to buy that one for my one worker. And then I'm going to spend one more buck. I almost dropped it. One more buck. And I'm at, uh, I have six bucks left. Um, and that buck is going to be for an electricity so I can run it this round. I'm not even going to bother taking it because I know I'm using it to run. So this is my second worker. Third and fourth is I'm going to grab the two Gucci engineers. And then we're going to, when we run, we're going to do this situation. So I'm gonna make two, uh, uh, five, in fact. Two plus three, I'm gonna make five, let me move this over. So five minerals is what we're gonna produce. But I'm not gonna to get to sell any. So that's the, the part that hurts. So I got five minerals that we just made, and um, uh, I think that's the best I can do. Uh, given the situation, and that was my four four guys. Um, so, uh, round's over, and I'm nine points short. Oh, 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 I forgot to do uh, the event. Sorry, sorry. We gotta start with an event. Decrease it by four, and then the government subsidy and loan locations may not be used. So, uh, that was an important thing. I need to not forget to do stuff like that. So, um, they're making it go down by four. One, two, three, four, which makes this an even harder game for us. And then it goes down by nine more. So uh, 27 to 17, 18, okay? Uh, nine more because we're nine short. So now this goes to two, and the goal moves to 32, which is a mountain ahead of us. All right, so we're, we're in trouble. All these industries go away, which is part of the, the reason I was crying, is you've got to get the right, you know, you got to take them whenever you can. And three, four, five, six. Okay, so first thing is the train industry. So this is a nice way to make money, and it's got two shadows. Next is a resort that would have taken that food from a farm and done some things. Here's a power plant that would take the minerals and make electricity. Not a bad idea. Unfortunately, I have no money. I can't afford any of this stuff. Here's a farm. Here's a farm. 
and here is a pharmaceutical company. So this would have been perfect for that farm, you know, that uses pharmaceuticals as an input, right? Now, I made a mistake. Uh, when I purchased this building, I get three points. So I actually did move up one, two, three on the track. So this moves up one, two, three as well. I didn't I wasn't as far away from the goal as, as previously stated. Now this all goes away and these are gonna go into that cup and then these slide over and we are on round two. So I'm gonna grab one, two, four more. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that's in, and then these workers go away. That was the, the reason I was mentioning, um, you know, you gotta take them while they're there, or otherwise you don't get a shot at them. Um, so here we got one, two, three, four, five. All right, again, we have excellent workers. We have a plus three, a plus two, and a plus two. This isn't normal. Normally you don't get this many good ones all at once, but we're getting them early. And uh, I do need a hammer to jack up my um, production. It would be nice to get another engineer that's not a plus three just to run the factory so I could use my plus three to really boost. But I'm sitting on six bucks. I am for sure not going to be able to um, uh, buy any industry this round. So whatever we see here, we're skipping. Um, it would have been nice to maybe buy something so I can get those little shadows, but I just don't have the money to afford to do that. I'm sitting on five minerals. Uh, I think we can sell some contracts here. You can see we could sell eight, and I will be able to do that, and eight of them will get me eight points. Now, if you add eight points to this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm still gonna fall way short of the goal. So I'm nowhere close to meeting my goal with just selling these uh, minerals. Um, so that's a problem. And that's the reason why I always lose this game, uh, because of that problem. So uh, I do have four workers, and so what am I gonna do? Well, one for sure has to sell contracts, so we're gonna go there. And then I would like to get this plus three guy again, just because he's amazing, right? Why wouldn't I? Um, I need to get an electricity to run. So I can go here to buy electricity, but there are other places like, well, no, that's the cheapest place right there. Or I can go here and there I can sell trade in minerals to get two electricity. See that? So one mineral gets me two electricity and then I'm not spending money. So I'm going to do that because I have a feeling I'm going to have more than eight minerals by the end of this round. So I'm not worried about that. I still have one more worker left. I don't need money. Well, I do, but I'm going to make some. And I have an extra worker, so I'm gonna just take something. Well, we said we needed a hammer, so that is a good option. The plus two shovel is rare, super rare in fact, but I don't think I'm gonna go shovel route. I'm not gonna be doing farms. And I don't, I don't memorize the industries well enough to tell you if there's a, because uh, since we're going mineral route, uh, minerals usually lead to iron, right? And then iron leads to this, right? So we're gonna be going heavy engineering. I don't know if shovel guys are really involved much. Shovel guys are involved with food big time. Um, but, um, okay, so what do we do? Or I could just take the wild card guy, right? This wild card guy is just as good as this guy, except better, I could use him as anything. Um, or there's a plus two. And then, like I said, that shovel guy is really good. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wild card guy. Why not? And I made a mistake again. I forgot to draw the event. <laughs> so let's see what's happening to us. Decrease the Axia financial status by one. All right, that's this thing. So we're dropping to 20. It's helping us lose the game. The temp employee location may not be used. All right, so that's important. The temp employee location is this guy. We're not allowed to use that. And they actually give you this to block the action. Um, I just usually try not to do that. Um, so anyways, that's going to be my thing. I'm going to take these two workers back. I'm going to take these two guys, which really aren't going to do anything for me. Well, actually, yeah, they are. This guy is going to go here to help run that. 
And then um, I have to do this, and it says I can do it two times, and I will. So I'm gonna spend two of my minerals. I'm gonna spend two of my minerals, and it says that I can get two electricity for each miner mineral. And here's how I know I can do it. I can do it one or two times, okay? So I'm gonna get four electricity. That is huge. Uh, and I'm only gonna take three because I'm running it this round, okay? So for this round, I'm gonna run this and spend one of those four electricity. And then I'm going to produce three, four, five, six of them. So now I got six mineral coming in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so I'm at nine total. So now with my contract guy, I'm going to sell four and then four more, right? You can sell as many contracts as you want with your guy. This isn't just a one action guy. So I'm gonna sell four and four more. So that's eight. And once again, eight is eight points and 16 bucks. So I got eight points and then I'm gonna take 10, 15, 16 bucks, add it to my money. And I gotta take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And since this is a resource I'm actively producing, I'm just gonna lay them right here uh, so they're quicker to grab. All right, so now I'm sitting on $22. So I'll be able to buy an industry next round. And that's my situation. And then I still have one engineer left over and um, this looks like that. Okay, um, it's not enough, but uh, it was at least something. And I'm nowhere close to being able to unlock my fifth worker, which is a problem. All right, so uh, let's wrap up this round. These go off. All these industries go away. Now, if we would have started the game with some of these industries, that might have been a different story. But that's part of what makes this game different every time you play is the combination of things uh, drastically change like this. Even these contracts can change on you and uh, they can be really brutal on you sometimes. Now this moves over like this and these contracts remain empty. So that's another problem. So I'm only going to be able to sell six minerals next round. I have one right now, but I'm producing six. So I don't even need to do anything. And as long as I put a guy here, I'll be able to sell six more. But uh, we need more. Uh, that's not enough to keep us in this game. So uh, let me keep going. I haven't forgotten that I need to do this. So I am one, two, three, four, five, six short. So we're going to come here and go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm now in the red at 14. And this goal, moving on to round three, it just jumped up to 42. So it's just like that guy with the with the fishing line, you know, and the dollar on it. You're gonna get it, get it. Come on, you're gonna get it. That's what it feels like when you play this game. All right, so the next round, remember the future market is a two. So we stop grabbing from the one pool and now we grab one, two, three, four. And so these, as you can see, look, I mean, these black gears are showing up. Uh, that's an impossible thing to get right away there, but um, uh, I don't even have minerals in this future round. That's going to hurt us even more. All right, and then um, the the actual factories, we go through all of them every game. Uh, they always come out, and there's exactly enough. So the first one is a power plant, which is a nice shadow uh, thing, uh, and it makes us the, the electricity, which we do need. So this is not the worst thing in the world to pick up because it can at least, you know, power our industries. This one is fantastic because of the two shadows, um, but I don't have a, a banker to run it, And um, but it would be nice. It doesn't score us points, but neither does the power plant. The farm, which we sort of opted against, the resort requires food. That would be a really difficult one to run. Here we go, heavy industry makes iron, but there's no iron on the uh, contracts. We don't have any, but it will come. So this is big, except uh, we're not gonna score any points, uh, not enough points at least, 
but this one is a wonderful option. It's 20 of our dollars though to pick it up. I will score five points for just picking it up. And then this one uh, is another mine that uses pharmaceutical, which is actually uh, um, a very interesting one. So if we would have bought that pharmaceutical one earlier, um, that's a very interesting one. Okay, so um, what do we do? Oh, I'm not done yet. We gotta grab our workers and see what comes out. One, two, oh, there's a banker. Four and five. See how look? See how normal this one looks? That's what we usually get. None of those Gucci ones. Um, okay, so uh, I think we got to start with what's our plan. Well, our plan is we can sell six minerals. I have three electricity. I have everything I need to produce six minerals already. So there's no worries there. The only thing I have to do is put one guy here to sell. So that leaves me with three workers left to do actions. Um, so then what I wanna do is I wanna start preparing for the next. There's two things swimming in through my head. This one is a perfect combo with, the, with, the, with what I already have. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna be producing minerals, but those minerals are gonna help me to produce this, which will get me more points later in the game, but not now. So that's a wonderful one. The other one is the bank. Um, I do have a, a banker available to pick up. Um, it is cheaper to pick up. I will score three points and I will get quite a bit of money because I do have uh, a guy that it's a hammer or I can pick up a hammer, right? This is, uh, I would have to do two worker actions here and the third one to pick this up, but I, don't, that's, I have three workers, so I can do that. So I can actually make this uh, $15. I'm getting 15 bucks just from running this. So I'm, I'm making some nice money. Uh, I would score three points. Um, in addition to what I'm gonna get for selling my stuff, which is six more, so that'd be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna be um, seven short if I do that. But this is a nice way to get some money so I can afford things in the future. Um, the other one is the power plant because we need power. Um, but I, I'm sort of okay with uh, spending a worker every now and then to just sell a mineral to get power. Uh, that's um, uh, That was a wonderful thing. I was able to get four power uh, for one worker action. Um, so I'm leaning towards this. So I'm gonna put a guy here. It still gets me one of the three shadow I need. Um, not quite as good as the bank. And yes, it's not gonna make me money like the bank, but the moment I can sell these, uh, it will. And I can always sell them on the black market right now. Um, if I did, uh, I'm gonna get eight bucks for each one and I can sell up to four. So that's actually uh, as much or more money than the bank. I don't know if it's a wise idea to sell them in the black market, but as you can see, we don't have any iron showing up here, so I don't have a choice. And then I still have two left, so what I'm gonna do is just grab stuff for this, and you'll notice none of those was the shovel, so I made the right choice there, um, but it is more wrenches, so I'm gonna get this wrench guy, because they're super powerful, and then I'm gonna get another hammer, because we do need a lot of the hammers, and that's gonna be my action, so I'm gonna take these off, Take the hammer and the wrench. Oh, I forgot my, gotta do, we're in red. We gotta do our event card. <clears throat> Decrease the output of all bank, comms, power plants, ports, spaceports, and train companies by one. I have mines, so this does not affect me. If a company has two types of output, its owner must choose one to decrease. Okay, so this does not affect me, so we're good there. Um, and now I'm gonna continue with my game. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to spend the 20 bucks. So we spent the 20 bucks. We're going to get this. And the one nice thing about this industry is, see, we get five points for that. So I'm going to put that industry down and we do score uh, one, two, three, four, five, which is uh, nice. Okay. And then um, obviously that's going to sell contracts, but we got to run our industries first. So let me turn them this way for the camera. So this was our situation, but I can always move guys around. So I'm gonna like put, for example, this guy here to run that. Um, and then I have, oh my gosh, I have three plus three guys. So 
So then I'm going to do something like that and then like that. Does that make sense? So here, that cost me two of my electricity, okay? And then I have to spend my one mineral there. But I'm going to produce six minerals here. And then I'm going to produce three, four, five, six of the iron. So uh, two, four, six minerals getting produced. And then the iron, I can only hold six iron. Ooh, interesting. But I will produce six anyways. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I got my six iron as well. Okay, so the dilemma this creates is I'm not gonna be able to sell all six. And why can't I do that? Well, I need, I'm gonna need electricity next round. I guess I could buy electricity without selling a mineral for them, but then it's not as good of an exchange. Uh, you know what, I can just use money. But the other thing is, is I need a mineral to fuel the, uh, this. I need a mineral for that. So, um, what I'm suggesting is I should only sell five. Um, I'm definitely not going to hit the goal this round. So I will use this, and I'm going to sell five. So we're going to sell five of these. Two, four, and five. Saving one for this. These are also spent, and that's spent. Uh, I do have one electricity left. Um, but what I'm also going to do is I'm going to sell four of these into the black market. Okay? Now, the black market... Is eight dollars each so four times eight is 32 bucks so 20 32 bucks coming our way um, that was some good blink um, now uh, I also get money for selling the five so I'm gonna get one two three four five victory points and then I get ten dollars for selling the minerals so that is where I end up and uh, so the round's gonna end, and as you can see, I am one, two, three, four, five, six below. So this is gonna drop one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm down to eight, and I'm, I'm gonna possibly lose if I can't turn this around. So this is coming over. Um, this hurt me. If this would have been a, an iron, I think I would have been in great shape. Um, so I'm gonna take my worker back. All oh, the industry goes away. Like we said, and now we're moving on to industry two, and then the workers come off. All right, so uh, let's grab our markets. One, two, three, four. And I'm already seeing some good stuff here. So there's a four, and another four, um, and an eight, and a four. Um, so uh, I already got some nice... Uh, being able to sell four of these is uh, that's eight points and then I could even do both of them possibly uh, I'm, I'm only able to have a maximum of six of these um, so I can never sell all eight in one round what I could do is try to sell four here and then sell the other four when it's over here it all depends on what's going to come in the next future market but for this round as you can see I wasn't able to sell any and uh, I'm not going to be able to sell any again um, so I have to wait until next round before I can sell these, but I can at least, you know, try to get some, um, I can get some good money. And with the good money, I'm going to just buy industry. Even if I can't use the industry, I'll still buy it, uh, because that, um, that scores me points. Uh, so let's, uh, keep going with our setup. We're moving up to round four. This is a round where I can get one of those bonus cards. I would like to do that someday but it moved up to 56, and so we're in trouble. The fact that I can't sell these right now is the trouble I'm talking about. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Having 30-some dollars is good, because we are gonna be able to buy some stuff. All right, so here's an interesting one. Uh, it feeds really nicely with our current industry. It produces more of these. I don't necessarily need to produce more. I'm already producing uh, the maximum I can even carry. Uh, I don't need it, 
but you know, for 20 bucks, I can get four points. That might be worth it. So we'll see. Um, here's one. Oh my gosh, that's a wonderful one. Look at this. I can spend an electricity and that, and then I'm scoring points or and money depending on all my. Oh, I love this one, and I'm getting three points. This is right up our alley. That was a wonderful one. And look, it's got the two shadows. Oh my gosh, I don't even think we need to look at the rest of them. Um, this one is good, but we already have it. Uh, this is a wonderful food one. Yeah, that's a real good one. But we're not doing food. Another farm. Uh, we're going to skip. And then uh, another heavy industry. Boy, they we got a lot of these in one round. And so you can see that one's producing the pharma. Um, it's a nice one, but we don't need it. All right, so I can tell you without a doubt. So the first thing is, is we don't need to spend a worker here because there's nothing to sell. Um, so we're going to for sure go here and spend 15 bucks to get three points. Um, the, the problem is, is how else am I going to get points? And uh, I may have to spend more money and buy more industry. Um, or I, uh, yeah, I'm in trouble. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, you know what? We can get points for running that industry. We, we do have to get electricity, um, and we need iron, okay? Um, so there's several ways to get electricity. I have one electricity right now. So um, I have one mineral, which I can use to get two electricity, but then I won't be able to produce this iron right here. Uh, so you see, I, I got this little catch-22 problem. Uh, but I don't need the iron until here, and I can produce six in one round. I have the iron here to fuel this, so I don't have to run this this round. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I can save the mineral and use the mineral to go get electricity. But my problem is, is I still eventually need a mineral to run this next round. Um, I can always go here to get that mineral, because I'm going to have, uh, with purchasing this, I'm going to have five workers now. So I'll have an extra worker next round. So you see how it's all playing out. Now, the other thing I could do is if I put a worker here, I can produce the iron and get some money, but money's not points, at least not until the end of the game. So what do I need? I need a wrench, which I have, um, a hammer and a wrench, which I have, and then the banker is nice too, and it just so happens to be a plus two banker over here, so I'm going to take that plus two banker, and I'm going to take the plus two wrench, and... I do need the electricity, right? Uh, yes, I do. So I'm gonna go up here and spend the worker to get four electricity. I'm sorry, I can only get two because I only have one mineral. So I'm gonna spend my one mineral and get two electricity. So I'm up to three right now. Uh, that's the best I can do. So I'm gonna take this worker back. We're gonna take these two employees. Oh, dang it, I gotta draw the event card, hold on. Each player must pay three credits if unable. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, I'll spend three credits. Okay, and then we're gonna spend 15 for this. So I'm gonna put in a 20, get a five. I still have 25 bucks left. And now we got this, which makes us both money and points. So let's try to make as much money and points as possible. Now, because we don't have the input for this, I do have, sorry for my arm here, I have the input for that and the input for that, and like so, okay? So um, this industry that you see off camera, I can't run those, so those employees are available for us. So you can see we have a, a plus three, a plus three, a plus one. Um, we have a lot of options here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is put my two there to run him, okay? We have a hammer here that can go there. We have a banker of plus two, and I'm gonna put a plus three engineer right there, all right? So this is gonna produce me six minerals, which I absolutely need, two, four, six. Those minerals are now inputs to other things, and also our ability to get electricity. And then here you can see I have three, four, five, six, okay? I forgot something. I scored three points, so let's do that right away before I forget. 
the goal was 56, so I scored three points. One, two, three. I have a mountain of points I need. I'm not going to get enough. I think I lost the game. But let's try. So this is a three, four, five, six. Okay, and that's a zero, which means you just add it up. So we just scored six points. One, two, three, four, five, six, which was a nice score. It's not enough, folks. I lost. Um, three, four, five, six, uh, plus two is eight. So eight times five, I would get 40 bucks. So I'm getting nice money, but I lost the game. And here, I'll show you why. Um, I used all my workers in one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven short. This is an eight. It goes to zero. I lost. Um, dang it. I was actually getting a little excited. We we finally turned a corner, folks. Um, if we just... Oh, if we would have been able to just sell these, we would have been fine. Um, we turned a corner. Uh, we were really going to start scoring in the points. And I guarantee you, we would have closed that gap and started actually hitting the goal. So um, there you go. Crisis, solitaire, uh, hard mode, uh, another loss. I'm going to try again. So I'm going to go ahead and hit end of this video. And we're going to, I'll reset it and we'll start over. Thank you.